What's going on, guys? Let's talk about our young quarterback, Zach Wilson. I was just watching ESPN. Dan Orlovsky was on. And he was contemplating a potential, what he called, home run draft scenario in which the New York Jets set Zach Wilson up for a breakout season in year two. And I have to tell you, the most pushback, the most negative comments I get on this channel come whenever I express excitement about the dynamic and rare talent of our young quarterback, Zach Wilson. And the comments usually go one of two ways. Number one, that talent doesn't matter. It was just his pro day. He didn't show up on Sundays. He has to get better at X, Y, and Z. Or the comment reads, we bleeped up. We should have taken insert this quarterback. Mainly Justin Fields or Trey Lance. And I strongly disagree with both of these points. Number one, let's talk about the idea that the elite talent is irrelevant. Uh, because you have to be better at this, that, this, that in order to become a good quarterback. Yeah, obviously. However, if we look at elite NFL quarterbacks today in 2022, they're freak shows. Having a freak show talent set is a prerequisite to joining the upper tier level of quarterbacks in the NFL. Let's look at some names. I just off the top of my head, I jotted down the top eight quarterbacks in the NFL. Is it a perfect list? Maybe not in no particular order. And I think you could at least agree that all these players would be in your top 10 or 12 quarterbacks. Let's take a look. Tom Brady. You may say he doesn't have any freakish talent. Well, obviously he is one of the best, if not the best quarterbacks pre-snap ever. Pocket awareness, maybe the best ever. Cheating also helps. And if you want to say Tom Brady doesn't have a super strong arm in his prime, I mean, go YouTube Tom Brady, Randy Moss, incomplete catch, Super Bowl 42, right? Some people call it the greatest incompletion ever. Tom Brady, with the Patriots down a score against the Giants, sets up to throw from his own 12-yard line, and I kid you not, go watch it, and he throws the ball on a rope to the Giants' 18-yard line, 70 yards on the fly. So Tom Brady, in his prime, had a hose. And he makes up for not being the best athlete or not having maybe as strong of an arm as some of the other guys by doing those other things we mentioned better than anyone ever. Okay, now Patrick Mahomes revolutionized the game. In the way Steph Curry revolutionized basketball, where Steph Curry started doing trick shots that you would do in warm-ups or playing horse in NBA games. Patrick Mahomes did that too. No look passes in a Super Bowl. Left-handed passes. Aaron Rodgers was Patrick Mahomes before Patrick Mahomes was. Justin Herbert, six foot six with a cannon. Josh Allen, maybe the most impressive combination of size, arm talent, and athleticism the game has ever seen. I hope we beat him twice this year. But man, is he impressive. Lamar Jackson, PS5 cheat code. Kyler Murray, PS3 cheat code. And Joe Burrow, who currently resides in your girl's DMs. So there's levels to this. An elite talent is the bare minimum to get you into the door. As a great quarterback in 2022. So it matters. It definitely matters. And as Jets fans, obviously, Zach Wilson needs to get better at a dozen different things next year. The Jets need to do a dozen things differently to support him next year. But we need to give ourselves permission to be cautiously optimistic about the skill set and the talent level of Zach Wilson. The second argument, let's address that, saying we should have taken a different quarterback. I mean, look how Zach Wilson compared to some of the other rookie quarterbacks. All the top guys struggled. And the best two rookie quarterbacks were Mac Jones and Davis Mills. So was anyone saying, I mean, drop, drop me a link below of you on video saying that the Jets should have taken Mac Jones or Davis Mills in last year's draft. 
Nobody was saying that. So miss me with that. Now, let's talk about some of the other guys. Okay, well, let's talk about um, Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields because Trey Lance didn't even play. Now, let's look at, of those three quarterbacks, combined touchdowns last year, rushing and throwing. Trevor Lawrence, 14 touchdowns. Zach Wilson, 13 touchdowns. Justin Fields, nine touchdowns. Now, combined interceptions and fumbles. Trevor Lawrence, 28. Justin Fields, 22. Zach Wilson, 16. Zach Wilson also won the same amount of games as Justin Fields, won more games than Trevor Lawrence, and beat Trevor Lawrence head-to-head. So there's just no data-driven argument to say that we should have went in a different direction. There isn't one. So that's where I'm at with Zach Wilson. Uh, I'm cautiously optimistic about him, and I think that you should be too. But either way, let's go Jets.